Hello Aquarius, welcome to a love reading all about how your person is currently thinking or feeling about you and what their intentions are towards you. Uh, as always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to you, and leave the rest. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're already a subscriber. Thank you so much for subscribing and uh, we'll see what we have for you here Aquarius. Spirit, angels, guide. For Aquarius, spirit, tell us about the person that Aquarius is thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are the current energies from this person? Tell us about how this person is thinking, feeling when it comes to Aquarius or this connection. Okay. Knight of Swords, the Emperor. And the Four of Cups, interesting. Aries, energy with the Emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries. Uh, does not have to be. Bottom of the deck, the star. There you are, Aquarius. So, mm, Knight of Swords, the Emperor. I feel like this is someone that uh, has a goal in mind. Um, and they're going to use mo uh, communication to get it. The Emperor is someone that really likes structure, order. Actually, before I do that, I'll get some energies. Um, they like things to be a certain way. Um, very masculine energy there with the emperor but the knight of swords is like the communicator someone that communicates almost bluntly i do find it interesting that the four of cups is here though because this is like someone that's not interested not satisfied um can't they're not very open to an opportunity either the four of cups so i don't know if this person is just thinking aquarius won't be interested in what i have to say um or if they are just unsure of the response to their message, right? Like, I have no idea how this is going to go. Maybe the door will be closed right in my face, you know, that kind of energy. So let's get some more insight into this person's energy, the person Aquarius is doing. What do we need to know about their energy? I got three already. Okay, we have a cold shoulder. Someone's feeling shut out. Silence, distance, coldness. We have mirrored souls, soulmate, mutual feelings, fate. You mirror each other in this special connection. And then we have closed off, guarded, defensive, resistant. Being closed off may blind you to the truth and block new opportunities. This is like that four of cups energy, the closed off energy. So despite the fact that there are, there's a connection here with mirrored souls, I feel like someone's on the outside looking in with cold children or maybe there's... Uh, distance between you or no communication at all especially when I have these two cards together cold shoulder and closed off there's like no communication no um, contact so you could be speaking to an Aquarius right now where you and this person aren't really talking so if that's the case then this knight of swords might be a bit like unexpected the knight of swords like whatever that message is let's see tell us more spirit what else do we need to know? Okay. All right. I was hoping that that didn't happen, but okay. <laughs> uh, we got confidence, secure and self-assured. Very emperor energy there. Creative, artistic and clever. Feminine, divine feminine. Okay. And then enthusiastic, excited and eager. Exactly. So I feel like this was someone who they are very sure of themselves but i don't think they're very sure of like the outcome they're trying to be very clever in the way that they approach you or what they say because they're not sure i'm gonna put divine venom over here because it doesn't fit a lot of you this is like someone that dresses well looks good isn't used to being told no this person which i find kind of fascinating so let's Let's clarify, because if anybody's going to tell someone no, it would be an Aquarius. And um, yeah, it's very Aquarius energy. All right, can we get some insight on these energies? I'm really curious about this Knight of Swords, because I want to know what this message could be. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. What's this Knight of Swords about? Why is the Knight of Swords here? Three of Wands, Seven of Swords. Mm, tell me about the Knight of Swords. Four of Swords. Okay, so what I'm getting here, mm, I'm getting so many messages, but the the main uh, the messages that I'm getting mainly are like 
out of the blue, not expected, right? With the four of swords, three of wands. I feel like some of you might have been expecting this person to talk to you and like tell you something, but I don't think it's going to be this. I don't think this is what you're expecting to hear from them. Seven of Swords, even though they're they're coming to you as a Knight of Swords, which the Knight of Swords is all about the truth, the facts, they don't really like mince words. I feel like you won't trust them or you're going to question their motives as to why they're being like this. Yeah, Eight of Wands. King of Cups is here. I feel like this person is being genuine. I don't think that, I'm not picking up any energy here of someone like wanting to mess with you, Aquarius, but I feel like I don't know. It's almost like this is this kind of rattles you. Tell me more about the Knight of Swords. Tell me about the Knight of Swords. Ten of Wands. Yeah. I feel like you're, you're not going to take this well. And I think this person is already anticipating that. For some reason, I think that they're already planning to deal with that issue. Mm. Six of Wands. Excuse me. I'm going to sneeze in a second here. <coughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Six of Wands is what I feel they're hoping for, but Ten of Wands is really going to be the problem. Six of Wands is success, victory, being recognized, right? But the Ten of Wands is the problem. I think that they're going to hope, this person is hoping for success, right? But there's a lot more that comes into play. Because if you have distance in a connection, if you have no contact in a connection, it is really difficult to just start from zero and have things just be smooth, right? Especially if you have a history with them. Okay, the Devil, Capricorn Energy. So I, I get the sense that this person is very motivated. Yeah, and I, I still got that with excited and eager, creative. It's like they're, they're going to be thinking about this a lot. They're very confident and just wanting to get this done. Some of you could be dealing with a Capricorn, someone with Capricorn in their chart. I think this person has very high hopes and might be a little delusional. I mean, I hate to say it. There's the Emperor at the bottom of the deck again. Yeah, I mean, these two energies is like someone's consumed with the need to make something happen. Like consumed. I'm going to make it happen. Tell me about the emperor. What's this emperor's goal? What do we need to know about this emperor energy? Can we dealing with someone older? Again, I get the sense that this is someone that like doesn't, isn't used to being told no. Tell me about the emperor. Queen of Wands, Knight of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they're, they're, that's the motivation. They want to come forward. They want to talk to you, Knight of Swords. And they want to work things out, work together, build a foundation. But this Four of Cups is telling me, like, I don't think you're going to be all that interested. Tell me about the Four of Cups. And didn't we have a similar reading recently? Yeah, Three of Cups, Six of Pentacles. You're really questioning this whole thing. Um, to you, okay, I'm getting it doesn't make sense. That's what I heard. This doesn't make sense. To you, it needs to make sense. Leo energy with strength and the hangman. So I sense that you're going to be really thinking about what they have to say. Because again, I feel like you're rattled. You're, you weren't expecting to hear that from that person. And so now they're giving you something to think about, something to chew on, right? And it's almost like this is this is more than I bargained for. Let me think about this. But as you think about it, it's like there's still this, I don't know, this energy that I'm picking up of like, I don't want to deal with this. I just don't know if this is like what I want. Yeah, four of pentacles. I think you're hold, you're going to hold back. Um this person, this is what the, if you're watching this and you're like, no, I would be totally open. This is how your person is viewing your response or that how they, they're predicting your response to be. What's this? Yeah. I think for you, there's more things to deal with. Even if there's emotions here, even if the, the connection is strong, if you're, you know, even if like maybe what happened wasn't that serious, um, to you, it's like, we need to address this and make it right again before I even think about what you're proposing right 
that's kind of what I'm getting here. I almost sense that some of you are completely closed off to this idea. You don't even want to hear from this person. You've blocked this person. Let me know in the comments if that's you. <laughs> um, and I feel like this person is being an emperor because they have to be an emperor to deal with the circumstances that you have set or the boundaries that you have set. Because I'm picturing someone that's standing at like the foot of a wall. So they're looking up at this wall and they're like, I'm going to get around that wall. Let's get some insight. Actually, let's get some secret moon oracles here. Tell me more about this person's energies. Tell me more about this person's energies, please, towards Aquarius. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies? I have to give something up. Hmm. Bottom of the deck, I wish I could be with you. Yeah, so that's probably the problem that you are bringing up here. It's like, okay, you have to give something up before we can be together. Whether that's a habit, a person, a location, something. So that's the problem, that there's an obstacle here that already exists between you and this person. Yeah. I have a choice to make is after that. So yeah, and I think that's where you're like, I don't care about how you feel. <laughs> we need to address the major problem, you know? Let's talk about the issue, not this fairy tale, you know, message or whatever it is that you wanna talk to me about. Let's look at this person's intentions. What are their intentions towards Aquarius? Spirit, what are their intentions? towards Aquarius what are their intentions nine of swords what are their intentions oh yeah this person there's like an obsessive energy here okay I'm gonna put those back because that's way too many um there's like an obsessive energy here with this person like I'm picturing them like unable to sleep their thoughts are not easy to cope with tell me about this person's intentions and it's like they want that to stop yeah, King of Wands. This is a doer, an action taker, fire sign you could be dealing with here. Ten of Swords. There's a star again at the bottom of the deck. This involves you. You're the, you're the thing that they need to overcome or to deal with. Um, I think that they have not been able to rest since whatever ending happened between you. They have not been able to sleep. Having problems sleeping, stressed out over this. Tell me about this uh, King of Wands. Yeah, because you're like, things need to go back to the way they were. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. Ace of Pentacles, Page of Wands. I think that this person, they, they just want to have uh, a do-over. And they want to do things right. I, I think losing you really did a number on them. Yeah, Five of Wands. They're not okay with what happened. They're not over what happened. And I, I think some of you don't care and others of you probably have no idea that this is what this person's thinking about this. I think their intention is to bring this back into balance and do whatever it takes to do that. I think they know they have a choice to make and I think you're the w tipping point. Like you will be the one that actually motivates them to make that choice because they're not used to not having what they desire, what they want. Can we get one more energy? One more energy for this person's that um, Aquarius is, has, or will be doing. What do we need to know about this person? What do we need to know about this person? I often wonder to myself if it's too late. Oh yeah. Bottom of the deck, I stay up at night thinking of you. What was I just saying about them being like unable to sleep? <laughs> yeah, this person, they can't, they can't deal with the way that things ended and the way that your connection is now and it's keeping them up at night i gotta tell you so that's what i have for you aquarius i hope you enjoyed this reading i hope it resonated for you don't forget to leave me a comment if it did or if you just want to say hello hit the like button or subscribe if you enjoy how i read and you want to see more it's a free way of supporting what i do here um and i really appreciate anybody that takes the time out of their day to do that so thank you so much and hopefully i'll see you all in another video very soon Take care.